same with the, the live oaks. If the soils were deep, these live oaks would be 75 foot tall. In some instances. So we're not expecting we're not expecting these apple trees and cherry trees to get 35 foot tall. We're expecting Stock Most of these are semi dwarf. I think he has some standard root stock. Um, I don't think he has any dwarf in here. So, I mean, in, in the best of scenarios, they're not going to get any bigger than these. So, is there anything you wanted to use that you couldn't? Strange um, to stop you from something you would have normally done? Or not, not necessarily. I, I'm not sure what Jack wanted extra that you couldn't put in. He's got a lot of variety in here. I mean, he's got some things in here that I didn't think would work, but we're going to give it a shot. I like the cherries. Yeah. Um, now, here's one thing that some of y'all might not have heard. We were talking about the teeth right here on either side. They had apples on either side, um, and I suggested we switch out the apples. Gonna want to keep these pruned back smaller, and if he um, most of the spacing that we did was to help confuse pests. So there's a peach, and then there's an apple, and there's a cherry, and then there's a jujube, and then there's something else, and then there's a peach way down there. So normally you want to keep it broken up, so it's a smattering of everything, so you don't have everything clumped together. Because that's how you see it in nature. Either a small clump or everything spread out. So I think that's we put these here because this is an access path. It's going to be coming through here. It's going to be coming through that way. It's going to be driving through here with a cart. And I didn't want big branches coming out and smacking you in the face when you're driving past. So that's why I picked something that would be normally kept a little bit smaller and a little bit tamer, a little easier to, to maintain. And you keep the peaches smaller because of the heavier fruit set, right? Right, heavier fruit set, and it's just easier to pick them right, like that. Can you transplant a tree that's been there for a little while? So you got a, tr a tree that's been there for two years, and maybe sure. it's double that size, and you want to move it. You can. Yeah. Is it a smart thing to do? I mean, is, if it's in a bad spot, I mean, is it going to kill it? If it's in a really bad spot, and you don't want to buy another tree, then you might want to transplant it. It's really situational. Um, once Jack gets these in the ground, two years of this being in the ground, it's going to be this big. Mm -hmm. And I would say don't transplant it. It would be, you have more risk of failure transplanting that tree than I think it would be worth. Mm -hmm. I would say go buy another $12 peach tree and put it where you'd want the other peach tree. And, and if you just don't want a tree there at all, then, then try transplanting it. But if it's just a matter of I want to move it to a better spot, just kind of move it tree. to a better spot, then you might want to just stick a new one in and see if pruning this one way back um, will help you with your problem. If you're it's access and then keep it smaller, prune it espaliered or what have you. Prune it up higher so that you can walk underneath the branches and then prune the branches out laterally. Might give it some support. Yeah. You might prune it up in, in the shape of an arbor so you can pick the fruit like that. So it just depends on your reason for, for wanting to move it. Whether it's worth the risk.